Hello, I'm Dudley Thompson and welcome to our continuous coverage here of the White Wing project. You can see at one White Wing here, they are currently loading the debris into the trucks to be taken away. Truck moving out with the debris. Right. Drop it down on the door, foundation for shop. And look like they have burst a pipe. Water, look at that. Look at that. They have burst a pipe a while ago. Moving the old shop. What they're doing now is trying to get the debris off the property to start the leveling process. Although some buildings are here still to be demolished here at White Wing, but the work has resumed as you can see. Like a pipe, as, as there are pipe here, you can see. We just seen water running at this, this spot. Work is continuing here at White Wing. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Dudley Thompson, WDT Media TV. Continue here at White Wing. Here at White Wing, and the planning to draw some of these spits and then pull them up back with um, stone and debris so there won't be of any hindrance to persons and also affect the work going forward here at White Wing all the pits with the yellow tape and there are pits in White Wing they'll be drawn in short order and the White Wing residents are mainly the persons who have commercial operations on the property. They met today with the Member of Parliament, Dr. Angela Brown Burke, about the, the sign, the eviction notice, about this notice to quit. They have just been told that this notice was not intended for the commercial operators, it was intended for the persons, the residents were still occupying lands inside White Wing, not for those who are commercial operators, I've been told a short while ago. The notice to quit. Also been told that a person here who operate commercial enterprise, they could be compensated, or they should be compensated before the structures are demolished. A Crystal Beauty Salon has been relocated. Not sure she'll be compensated. Yes, Crystal. But the compensation for your shop. Don't know. In time they're ready. They can give us. We've been waiting long for some good answer. 
and you see it removed from White Wing and now relocated at Six Olympic Way. Yeah. All right, so you're hoping you wait, you wait um, shortly on the compensation package. Yeah. All right, Crystal. Okay. <laughs> This was where she was, she was um, located in White Wing and seen the shop has since been demolished. And remember to please like, share and subscribe. And again thanks in advance. And remember to help us to achieve, achieve our target 5,000 subscribers by year end. Elderly man still living here. You can see. This pit as well. This house should be demolished by tomorrow, according to the contractors. Not sure. The same for the one occupied by Black Beauty. Not sure. If the same apply. And this pit will be worked on as well in the community. And this one as well. And also the one further up. Here in the white wing. We are standing almost in the middle of the, the property where the road should enter the second phase shortly. They should be installing I think um, sewer drains, water drain and storm drains and then they peg out the roadways and then they will branch off to where the units will be constructed. That should be the phase we should be entering um, shortly. But they can't do so with people still living on the property. Right here you see in the back of what once was Crystal's beauty salon at the back been demolished earlier and the homeless gentleman we, we showed you earlier and he's saying that he applied for housing from food for the poor and he sent his application all the relevant documents he's just waiting for approval right now because now he's homeless sleeping on the pazer and on the sidewalks in three mile and he said he applied over five months ago and we're hoping approved for the poor can speed up the process so this young man can stop living on the streets in three mile the police are out in the numbers in the community on the outskirts of white wing Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Dudley Thompson, WDT Media TV. We are here at the compound of the Dr. Monica McKenzie Early Childhood Institution here in White Wing Community. And guess what? With the closure of schools due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we are now seeing some level of vandalism now on at this at the school. Drone, drone knobs been destroyed. Not sure if it's the evidence. And window paid on the ground, apparently removed from here. And at the back of the school here, more vandalized windows since the closure due to COVID 19 pandemic. And we were told that children often take a bath here in this blue drum at the back of the school. Look like someone take a bath here and forgot, I forgot um, their underwear on the school compound. A, a cupboard turned upside down on the drawer. Right here, destroyed.
I can say overgrown edges here on the school compound almost taking over the school walkway being closed closed because of the pandemic the abandoned play area no play because of the pandemic here at the school meaning Jamaica not at the school beg your pardon the persons enter through this gate that leads to the Corbin Garden Primary School the field you can see and you can see a damaged gate here damaged entrance to the main gate at the school as you can see damaged entrance here persons can watch I watched with a while ago so others can do it as well I'm Dudley Thompson for Roots FM News and also WDT Media TV feel free to like share and subscribe and again thanks in advance